I'm Katie, and this is Katie Plays Stuff, where I play stuff for you. And today, we're getting to the next part of Conway, Disappearance at Dolly of You. So, so far in the comments, guys, you all seem to enjoy it, so I'm glad that you're all liking this game. I haven't seen any other videos pop up on YouTube about this game. Um, I know it just came out last month, but I follow a bunch of gaming YouTubers, and I haven't seen this game. So, I don't know if it's popular on YouTube or not. I haven't really looked it up. So far, what I like about this game is the cast of very strange characters. I feel like everybody is suspicious in some weird way. If I find out that Mrs. Doer is uh, the kidnapper, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> also, the voice acting in this game is pretty incredible. It's, it's not bad at all. Um, so let's hop right back into this. Perhaps the McKees are innocent. Only time will tell. All right, so it looks like we are going to go probably character by character uh, with the different chapters of the game. So right now, I guess we're investigating the McKees. Um, so let's check this out, see what we can see for ourselves. Uh, there we have the father um of the kidnapped child it looks like they put some flowers out there Let's zoom in yeah there's flowers outside of his house people are leaving flowers on mr morgan's doorstep as if charlotte may is already dead Let's see charlotte may's bedroom could someone have been watching her watch us find out that we're the kidnapper <laughs> Cause like we are watching people. Oh, got Mr. What's his face over here? I forget his name. Uh, Mr. Levy, um, in his uh office, and the father here. Ah, uh, right now missing posters. Oh, Mr. Morgan is writing missing posters by hand. He's been there all evening. So sad. Then who are you? Annabelle and Theodore seemed normal enough when we spoke last night. By their account, they didn't see much at all. Why would Mr. Morgan ask me to watch them? So Annabelle's coming home. Theo is watching her from the window like a creep. Seems quite oh. eager to talk. He's like, get the fuck in here. What's going on? They're fighting. He's or he's arguing or he's nervous. Mm. Theodore looks unhappy about I don't know what. He's pacing back and forth. It seems heated. He's probably like why did you do this? Why'd you steal this girl? Now everybody thinks it's us. We're being watched. Now I got another mouth to feed. It's gonna be okay, Annabelle. We're gonna get through this together. I still have no idea what the problem is. Oh, am I supposed to Perhaps figure out what the problem is? This is what Mr. Morgan was talking about. What are you looking in here for, lady? Do you hear a noise? Do you suspect somebody's hiding in there listening to your conversation, huh? She's gonna look up and see me in the window. Oh, what's she looking at? And now, uh, Annabelle is... Uh, Annabelle has seen something. What is it? Just out of my view. Whatever it is, she's horrified by it. Could be a dead mouse. What on earth is it? Could be nothing. Could be nothing at all. She's still on the floor. She's so shocked. Hmm. 
Oh, it's gone. Hmm. Fresh eviction notices. Hmm. Is that blood? Is that blood? I don't know, Conway. It's draining from their pantry. <gasps> it's draining from this pipe. What are you thinking, Annabelle? What can you see? Why would there be blood draining from this pipe? Oh, she's getting up. Gotta clean up this mess. <gasps> There's a knife! She's got a knife. Jesus, she's going to... No, she's not. No. She's like... She wants Theo to use it. Use it? Unless he's already used it, and that's what the blood is from, and she's like, why did you do this? Oh my god. She's like, use this instead. I don't know when to take pictures and when not to take pictures. I'm just going to keep taking pictures. Oh my god. Which weapon shall I choose? He doesn't know which one to use. Which one are you going to go with, Theo? Chosen the mallet. Theo, don't do it. Whatever it is, take pause of yourself. Maybe they kidnapped the child. They locked her in here. He, in a fit of rage, stabbed the child. The child is bleeding out. But something else must be done. She must be knocked out of her misery. Theo. Oh what shit. Are you talking to. You talking to yourself? Is that a practice swing. <gasps> oh, he sees a car. Yeah, God. Who's here? Oh no. What have I just witnessed? I couldn't tell you, sir. But if more blood comes out of there, then we'll Some know. time has passed since I saw Theo hit something with a mallet. You didn't even see him hit anything. I didn't actually see anything. Okay. No proof. I have no evidence at all. Forty minutes later. Annabelle is back at the door. Okay, hurry. Go. Go! <gasps> what is that? God's name? Oh my god, he dropped it. What are you it. doing? Well, if you would help me... I'm not touching that thing. That thing was your idea. My idea? <clears throat> that thing? Am I supposed to take a picture of this? I can't tell. No, I guess not. Hello? Oh, Somebody? Christ. Get it out of here. What the hell do you think I'm doing? Hurry up! Go! Uh, Morgan! <clears throat> Mr. Morgan! Hello, Annabelle. Lovely evening. She's distracting him! Yes, I suppose so. Please, if you don't mind, I have something... It's just all so sad, isn't it? Please, I really do need to be going. I'm so sorry, of course. It's fine, Annabelle. Take a picture of this, this bro! Why aren't you saying anything? You won't hesitate to ask. Alright, guys. It, it could have been a woodchuck. It could have been a cat. I do. Catherine asked me not to get involved. But, but this... It could have been a cat. He was like, I don't want that thing. And it's like, this thing was your idea. Like, maybe... It's not over until it's over. Maybe she just wanted a cat. 
I think I need to pay the McKee's personal call. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Uh... Am I supposed to take any more pictures? Oh, no, it's over. Okay. <laughs> this is getting juicy, guys. I mean, I'm sure it's obviously nothing, because why would they give us the killers in the beginning of the game? I feel like everybody is going to be super suspicious, and I'm going to have all these random pictures of weird shit, but it's not going to be any of them. I've barely slept at all. I can't fully explain what I observed last night, and I can't shake the image of Charlotte May in the McKee's pantry, lying there. Helpless. One day missing. Oh. Hmm. I don't know why we would just sleep on it. Like, all you did was look out your window. Like, you're not meddling at all if you just call your daughter and say, hey, I was looking out my window and I saw them lugging out a big-ass carpet thing. Maybe look into it. I don't know. Um, let's see if there's anything I can click on over here. Got a bunch of pictures. British intelligence saves the day. King's Regiment Officer Robert Conway's quick thinking under fire led to saving the lives of over 20 men when a radio transmission was intercepted. Staff Sergeant Michael Williams said that Conway, 22, decoded the transmission in record time. A scouting party was about to be sent directly into enemy territory when moments before Robert Conway sprang to action and managed to steal a Jerry radio and intercept their battle plans. The 20 men he saved later proved to be vital in the war effort. For more, turn to page 5. So, Conway is a hero. He's a fucking hero. Receipt. Damn. What is what does that say? Conway, tenant of 23, Dahlia B. Rutt Terrace, has paid absolutely nothing in rent on the 23rd of May. Um, so... Or I guess this is a receipt. I don't know why there's nothing written there, but whatever. I thought the days of me developing reel after reel of film were behind me. I almost miss it. Bar the mess. When Charlotte May is found, I need to take another holiday. Catherine would love to see Pinwheel again, I'm sure. Pinwheel. So that is from the game Ather 1. Um, I realized that when I was uh, editing. Is this film reel? Can I open it or? No, I, I guess not. I don't know. Medicine. Oops. Ah, here, that's the zoom. Patient Robert Conway, dose 30 tablets. Tablets contain 30 milligrams of butabarbital sodium. What is that for? I don't know. Maybe sleeping? I have no idea. Okay, let's back it up. The police are searching out in Riverport. They haven't seen what I have. And it's too soon to involve them. What if I'm wrong? You probably are. I'm gonna be honest, it's a little far-fetched, but okay. Oh, we got a dark room over here. Or a, a bathroom. Turned into a dark room. These are developing nicely. What is this for? <laughs> All set up and ready to go. Now, to gather some evidence from the McKees. Let's see... cloth? Am 
Okay, we got some more entries. Annabelle McKee. Annabelle was forcing Theo to use the mallet in the pantry. It's clear to me that she's in charge of their relationship. Theo. Theo spent a great deal of time debating whether or not to, blung- to bludgeon whatever was in that pantry. Violence clearly doesn't come easily to him. It's apparent that Theo was uncomfortable transporting the rug to the boot of the car. It suggests that Annabelle is in charge and that Theo will do anything for her. I don't know if I'm actually supposed to do anything with these or if they're just here to, like, look at. I don't know. There's more. Am I supposed to be, like, actually developing some film right now? Or I guess... I don't know. Maybe not. Let's see if we can go out here. I'll need my bag if I'm going to gather any real evidence. Investigation tools. Where is your bag, bud? Not, uh, what's that? Got a phone, a teacup. Very clean. She's worked so hard to get where she is. Really, once again, I'm not liking the movement in this game. It's so frustrating. And all of this clickety-clacking of the keys, I'm sorry if you guys hear it all the time. I try to edit it out as much as I possibly can, but it's hard. I must ask Catherine if she'll get me some more shopping. Ration book? You can turn these on, too. I don't know what the point of that is. Now that I know how to turn things around, I can actually turn this around as well. Ah, there's nothing on there anyway. But since I learned how to do it... <laughs> Here we go! Now we can read it. Hello, old friend. To answer your question, things are the way they've always been for me. You know the drill. I'm sorry to hear about your situation. I myself am starting to forget the odd thing here and there. Jim's worried as usual. We're going to have to face it, old boy. We're getting old. Anyway, look at it like this. You always did like sitting on your arse all day. Your arse? Uh, now you can do it without being told you're lazy. I promise I'll visit soon and show a little more respect. Jean sends her love. All the best, Fletch. Dig out my investigation tools from the office, so that is what we are supposed to be doing. I'm getting there. There's our little brooch here. Cute, cute. Ah, here it is. Now, to find out what the McKees were doing in that pantry. How are we going to find that out? From my observations, the McKees clearly have something to hide. I need to find out what's in, what was in that pantry. Gain entry into the McKees' flat. Explore the pantry to see what I can find. Conway, no offense, but you are a wheelchair-bound man. And I'm not saying that people in wheelchairs can't maneuver and get themselves around absolutely nothing against people who have to use wheelchairs that's uh, that's a perfectly normal thing but how do you think you're gonna wheel your fucking ass <laughs> into that house and like what if they come in and you have to hide you're just gonna like quickly wheel over to the corner and like throw a sheet over you and it's like let's hope they don't see me like all right <laughs> all i'm saying it's a little far-fetched but we are we are Conway. We are Robert Conway. And we can do this. Is that his name, Robert? I can't remember. 
Um, let's head on out. Let's see what investigating we can do. Can I click on this? What is this? Catherine won't be pleased having to clean up after me. Okay. That was it. I wonder if I got like an achievement for that or something. Cause like, what was the point? Ah, all right, we're getting there. We moving, we rolling. The McKees really did kill Charlotte May last night. There must be some evidence left in their pantry. Well, we'll check it out. Um, let me just run down this hallway real quick and see if there's anything for me to click on. I wonder if there's anything left to find at all. What if I'm too late? Nothing's popping up. What's this? Bleach. The McKees have been busy. Oh! This is the way I'm supposed to go! Apparently the a building is connected and I'm an idiot. <laughs> Never mind. Um, but hold on. Should I go back outside? Because I want to check out the, uh, the drain pipe thing. Can I go this way? No. Wait. Interesting. Let's see. Where's the McKees on here? Ah, a McKee. Flat eight. The McKees eight. live at number eight on this floor. Well, that is some useful information. Wait, what does that say? Did I already read this before? Lock the gate behind you. I don't want the wrong kind having access to me. Me home. <laughs> Landlord Levy. <laughs> Wednesday, bin day. Daily, police search for Charlotte May Morgan. Police meet at the crow's nest. Searches every two hours. Milk delivery every Monday at 7 a.m. Have your empty bottles cleaned and outside by Sunday night at the latest. You will be charged for any broken bottles. I feel like it was such a simpler time when you just left bottles on your doorstep and like the milkman came over. Um, I wasn't alive in those simpler times, but I feel like it was a simpler time. <laughs> if you guys see any cuts in this footage when I'm wheeling around, it's probably because I skipped it. Is that it? I can't read. What does that say? Eight. This is it. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mrs. McKee. We spoke a few days ago. Yes, uh, please call me Annabelle. Annabelle, of course. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get around to you. That's fine. I'm sorry, how is it I can help Mr. Conway? Well, it's all a bit sensitive, I'm afraid. I, I wondered if I might have a word in private, if you would. Uh, well, I... Mrs. McKee, Annabelle. I'd rather not state my purpose out here in the hallway where any one of your neighbors might be listening. Wouldn't you agree? Of course. Why, uh, why don't you step inside for a moment? Excellent idea. I promise not to take up too much of your time. I'm sure you have your hands full. Okay. I did not realize that we were just going to go knock on the door and wheel on in and talk to her. Like, I literally thought that we were doing a B and E, okay? <laughs> I thought that we were going to be, like, stealthy, sneaking into the apartment, like, getting the frickin' evidence. Uh, this is not what I was expecting. So I take back everything I said before, <laughs> and let's keep going. So, what's the purpose of all this, Mr. Conway? I hope it's not about what we... Well... Why don't you get to of it? Of course. Well, it's actually quite simple. I'm sure you've heard that I was once a private investigator. Well, nonetheless, Mr. Morgan has asked me if I would look into everyone who knew Charlotte May. I see. 
And so you've come to look at us? Look, let me be straight. I've been an investigator my entire life, and I have a sense about people, you might say. Is that so? I don't think you or your husband have anything to hide. In fact, this might be a waste of time altogether, but I think it would put Mr. Morgan's mind at ease. If I ask some basic questions anyway, what do you say? Well, however we can help. As long as it's not too long is all. Oh, no, of course not. All I need you to do is tell me, in your own words, what you did on the night that Charlotte May was taken. Right. But I thought you... Before you begin, I'm, I'm sorry to ask, but would you mind if I used your lavatory? No, not at all. It's right behind you. Thank you. And please, Annabelle, you look worried. I'm sure you had nothing to do with it. She's lying. It's written all over her. Time to find out why. Hold on. My dog will not stop barking. <sighs> and I have to wait. Okay. Accessibility, no hold and drag. If enabled, hold and drag interactions now only require a tap. I didn't know I could hold and drag anything. Uh, I guess that's what I'm doing right now. It's a doctor's name addressed to Annabelle. Doctor's note. Mrs. A. McKee, regarding our previous appointment, I regret to inform you that the pain in your lower abdomen is most likely due to complications during the early stages of your first trimester. She's pregnant. I would very much like you to have a follow-up appointment with you, would like to have a follow-up appointment with you as soon as possible to discuss the certainty that your pregnancy will not come to full term. All things considered, please call the surgery at your nearest convenience to book another appointment. When was this dated? Because that would be a reason for her to kidnap a child. Because she was pregnant and lost the baby. Interesting. Now what do we have here? Mr. Conway? Can I offer you a cup of tea? One sugar, two sugars, three sugars? Let's go with three. Yes, uh, three sugars. Why did that matter? Conway likes a little sweet. What can I say? Um, that was really random. Okay, this needs to go away. I thought she'd never leave. I thought she'd never leave. <laughs> um, all right, let's check this out. Perfume. Okay. Oh, what is this? A ticket. One day peak time return from Riverport to Turning City. Turing City. Oops, I didn't mean to press that. A tram ticket. Hmm. Annabelle clearly didn't use this tram ticket. Clearly. I can pick up all the soap. Pick up all these. Air freshener. Is that nothing? Hmm. Make it sound like we actually went to the bathroom. And, uh... Anything up there? No. Alright, let's leave the bathroom. I apologize. Where were we? Ah, yes. You were going to tell me what you were doing on the night that Charlotte May- What was she locking? Was that the door to come in? Was she locking the way out? Or was that like a bedroom? I was taken. 
I've been thinking about it, and there's not much to say. Literally anything would help. Well, I remember it clearly. I think everyone here knows exactly where they were. It was so shocking. Uh, I'd made Theo his tea in the afternoon at about three, and wrapped it up for him to have later. He was working all day over at Levy's garage, and performing later that night. I went to the shops at some point, I think. I didn't see Charlotte May at all that day, and I was out of town for most of the night. I think the last time I saw her was on the Wednesday. She was playing outside between her homeschooling, as I recall. Okay, so now we can talk about everything that she said, and she keeps locking all these doors. I'll stop you there, if you don't mind. As interesting as it is to know what you were doing leading up to the event, I think it might be more beneficial to talk about what you and your husband were doing whilst Charlotte May was being taken. Right. I see. What time was that? You don't remember clearly. I was sitting in my flat at the time. Ten o'clock is when I first noticed something was happening. I had a good view from my window. I imagine you'd have a good view from your kitchen window also. Perhaps even your pantry. Actually, Mr. Conway, I'm sorry. I feel awfully uncomfortable talking about this without Theo here. Why? I think it's best I don't answer anything he might object to. You're right. I completely agree. He usually takes his break around now, does he not? Perhaps. Would it be possible of you to go and get him so that we might continue the conversation? I don't think that's a good idea, Mr. Conway. In fact, I think I'd feel better if we ended the conversation here, if it's all the same to you. No, you're right. If you don't feel it appropriate, then best not to bother him. Thank you. I was hoping to clear it all up today, you see. I'd hate to have to bother you tomorrow, or the day after, or even the day after that. It's not in my character to be a nuisance. However, I did promise Mr. Morgan. Perhaps I'll return later on. Wait. If it's not going to take too long, I could fetch him now, and we could resolve the matter. Mrs. McKee, if you would do that for me... It would put Mr. Morgan's mind at ease, I'm sure of it. Christ. Okay, well, I think it's best you come with me. Oh, I fear I'd only slow you down. The stairs, you see. No, I'll wait here for your time. Fine, just... Wait here. If she has nothing to hide, why doesn't she want to talk about it? I only asked her what she was doing when Charlotte was being kidnapped. That was the only question. Why would Theo no, object to it? To get that key down. The police are still here. I hope Catherine doesn't see me like this. Hmm. She never did make me that cup of tea. Yeah, she went to go check on me, asked me if I wanted any sugar or whatever, or I said sugar, and then she went around locking doors. Annabelle was holding this last night. It doesn't look as though they used it. Another Ether One Easter egg. I know the key's up there. I just want to check everything else out. New Age Woman. How to maintain your home and marriage. Uh, sorry, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Down's Family Recipes to my darling daughters Annabelle and Shirley. Can I reach the key? 
What is this? This is strange. Oh, I'm gonna wheel into it? Turbo drive. <laughs> is this working? Oh shit! It's moving. Breaks the cupboard. Almost there. There we go. Well, that was easier than I thought. Pantry key, huh? Oh, it's locked. Charlotte, were you in here? Give me something. This is taking a very long time. Come on. Nothing down there. Pickles. Such a fresh bleach, eh? What are you bleaching? Looks as though they scrubbed the place clean last night. Interesting. Uh, we're gonna need a screwdriver. Gonna screw here. Definitely don't have a screwdriver, do I? This is the only item I have. Hm. Another knife. Now where... Am I gonna find me a screwdriver? <sighs> what does this say? Explore the pantry to see what I can find. Ah! It's right here! I'm an idiot! It's because I- I thought it was- anyway, anyway, whatever. We got the screwdriver. Let's take it. Sorry about that. Hopefully I just cut all that out. <laughs> this is very unnecessary. Please let me be wrong. Head to toe. I'm too late. There's, there's nothing left to see. Hmm. Are we gonna put it back though? Should probably push that back. I opened up that window, though. Is she gonna notice I opened it? Then there's still time to search the flat. How about this room over here that she locked? Oh, I can't see, so obviously I'm not going that way. <laughs> not? Wrong button. I wonder what was last written on this notepad. New clue. I should search the flat whilst Annabelle is fetching Theo for anything I can use for my evidence board. What was last written on the hallway notepad? Hmm. Annabelle was spraying this as we talked. Hiding a smell in the pantry, no doubt. Dead body smell. Oh, let's check out... Well, can I go in here? There we go. I'm not getting in there without a key. And it's not this one, right? It's interesting, their fireplace 
Oh, is that a mirror or another room? What were they burning? There's a note in the fireplace on the other side. Ah. In the fireplace on the other side. Interrupted vinyl. I stole it. Why did I steal that? Interrupted. We need to go back. Or need to go back. I can play it. That's interesting. Theo's room, no doubt. No, my baby don't care for me Just because she says she do If my baby really care for me she wouldn't leave me feeling blue. Theo, ah. where's the pencil gone? Annabelle, you can't hear I'm recording. Sorry, I don't have a pencil, you know. Well, check next time. These vinyls are too expensive to waste. Theo, all I want is a pencil. Uh, try the living room. Hmm. Theo mentioned he left a pencil in the living room. Wow, that is a clue if I ever heard one. What do we got? Wood carving. Ew. Okay. Another vinyl. Cello bow. Take it. Okay. Locked. How does one open a piano front? I couldn't tell you. He's a slob. He's a smoker. And a drinker. Oh, and a slob. Music sheets. Presumably Theo's songs. Something's blocking these keys from the other side. Now what do you know? Piano pin. Where do I put this thing? Here. Not that button. Ah, here we go. Can I open it now? There we are. What is money? He's hiding money? Forty-five pounds. If I were a lesser man, I'd take it and live comfortably for the rest of the year. For the rest of the year? There's no way Theo's boss pays him this much. How much is forty-five pounds? Are you just gonna leave it open or are we gonna close it up? Eh. Conway doesn't care. All right, let's listen to this other vinyl, since we have all the time in the world these days. All right, did it say that I could change this? <laughs> what did it say? Let's go to accessibility, or maybe not. Oh, interactions. Change taps to hold. No quick input. No multi-button holds. No hold and drag. Thank you. 
Ah, so much better. Oh my god. Nothing special on this one. Nothing. I should probably stop it though, right? Yeah. She's gonna come in here and she's gonna know. Um. What's this? Sweetness had to die. Is this a confession? I wonder if there's a way to miss evidence, or she won't come back unless I click on everything. Also, I wish the frickin' thing would stop making that noise. Can we stop this? Uh. Stop. There we go. <laughs> Oh, that scared me. Uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there, guys. Hold on. Alrighty. Oop. What do we got over here? Anything over here? Nothing in the mailbox. Can't click on anything here. A note. There's a note in the fireplace. I can't get it out with my bare hands. Do I have... I have a cello bow. Seems to be a list of medicines. list of medicines? Not what I meant to click. This one. Uh, yeah, it literally is just a list of medicines. Six migraine relief tablet dissolvable pouches. Uh, tons of stuff. Annabelle was fiddling with things on here. Most likely guilt and nervousness. Nothing interesting. You press on the wrong buttons. I swear, I wish I had a controller to use. Oh, it's another room. Oh, it's the bathroom that I've already been in. this stamp. Looks like that brooch. There's a pencil. Annabelle's diary. I had an argument with Shirley today. I hate it when we argue, and I know she means well, but sometimes I just need someone to listen and not judge. I said some things that I'm not proud of. Shirley means everything to me, and I can't bear the thought of losing her. But when she told me to grow up and take responsibility, I couldn't handle it. I told myself I would be a better person this year. It's time to apologize and show her that I love her as much as she loves me. A sister's love is forever. Oh, her sister wrote this. Not even Theo. Ooh, lagging a little bit. I can't stand to see an incomplete picture. Okay. What did we need the pencil for? To 
decipher it. Ah. Let's see what we got here. Call doctors back. Cello case, 1932. H. Free from 8 p.m. Tuesday the 22nd. Bring a change of clothes. Make sure Theo's gig is still on first. 1932. Now that's something. Well, that's something. Let's go check out that cello case that I didn't know was locked. Bingo. Letter. Theo has a sister back home somewhere. Theo, I'm so happy you wrote us back. Mother needs that medicine desperately. The doctor says she could die. I have to ask you to be quick. Annabelle? It's Shirley. Damn. Oh god. It's Annabelle's me? sister. I have to ask you to be as quick as she's getting worse every day. It's blood... I'm scared. <laughs> it's a blood thinning... I want to say sorry about the other night. Are you there? It's a blood thing and thinning Never medicine. You know that, <laughs> what can I read? <laughs> Everything I say, I thank you again. I say it because I want to protect. All right, you. fuck it. Anyway, I'm posting the key back through the door. I love you. She gave me a key. They got into a fight. What does it say? Shirley has dropped off spare keys for Annabelle's flat. Uh, let's see. Theo's sheet music suggested that he's harboring a lot of guilt. Perhaps he feels bad about Charlotte May. Theo is musically gifted. Perhaps he's wasted He's wasted working for Harold Levy. Okay, well, let's get this key. We should hold on to these. For good. I gotta choose the key? Ah, oh, here we are. I didn't know- I didn't know what to do. There we go. Whatever. What is this? She was locking her bedroom? Why would she lock her bedroom? You can tell a lot about a person from their bedroom. This is clearly Annabelle's space. Blue mist. Looks brand new. Blue mist, eh? What did I write? Annabelle. Uh, Annabelle has expensive taste. If Theo is paying for it all, then it begs the question, how are they getting the money? And why was he hiding money in his piano from her? Maybe because she likes to spend it. Surely Theo's wage can't pay for all this. Another letter. Annabelle Meredith McKee. I cannot believe what you've done. Or I can't believe what you've done. You should have come with me in this. I'm your sister, for God's sake. I would have talked you out of it. Let's just be thankful that Mother isn't allowed to see you disgrace yourself. You should have told me. I'm furious at you, but I promise I'm still here for you. We're sisters and that won't change. Your secret is safe with me, but I think we'll need to talk soon. You surely... What did she do? <laughs> Dial pad. Well, I don't have the code for that. It needs something to wind it. Hmm. Not that. Not that. Or I guess this is Shirley it. and Annabelle are close sisters. I don't know what they're currently arguing about. 
but they seem to love each other very much. Good to know. They had a view of Mr. Morgan's home. They could have easily seen Charlotte May every day. Interesting. Absolutely spotless. You'd never even know a mechanic lived here. Annabelle is obsessed with cleaning. More bleach. More bleach, huh? I spoke too soon. What on earth is inside? What is it? Hmm. Why would she keep it in there? It smells fresh. Well, the whole place is clean. Suspicious. But I feel like this is supposed to look suspicious. Is Annabelle having an affair? I enjoyed seeing you the other night. We should do it again soon. I hope you enjoyed the blue mist. That stuff isn't cheap, but you're worth it, my dear. Call me, 3283! Maybe she has a lover. And he got her those earrings. Back it up. We're getting there. Picture. Three, two, eight, three. Clean bedding. What's this, then? She hid it. This is it. The mallet I saw Thea use last night. I've got you. You've got what, though? You Did don't you know. Did you Charlotte May with this? Damn, the Marquis are coming back. Well, then, what do you want me to say? Shit. I don't know. Just stall him. He's been in there for ages. Why did you leave him, then? Do you really want me to go through that right now? Okay, okay. Just don't say anything that he might... He might what? Well, you know how you are. <sighs> Do you really think I'm that stupid? Now shh. Let's just go inside. Let's get out of the bedroom! You. Come on, why do you just sit there? Ah! I'm scared! Oh my god, I didn't know what to do! I didn't lock the door! <gasps> Hello, it's open! Mr. Conway. Hello, Theodore. They didn't give me a chance! Anne says Tony Morgan asked you to investigate his daughter's disappearance? That's right, but I'm sure she's also told you that it's merely a form. I was just telling Mr. Conway he's wasting his time, because we don't know anything about it. Uh, aren't you retired, Mr. Conway? Well, I'm not here officially, Mr. McKee, just as a friend of Tony Morgan's. But I do appreciate you making the time. Well, like Anne said, we had nothing to do with Charlotte May, so I don't know how I could help. And I don't have long, I'm afraid. Mr. Levy isn't very happy with me stepping out of work. I appreciate it all the same. Well, shall we move into the living room? I'm of course. I'm so Please, after you. I'll be with you in a moment. Oh, no. Now, please, I'd like to know what you were doing at the time of the attack if you wouldn't mind. 
maybe start at 10 p.m. <gasps> I'm still holding the key. She's like, where's the fucking key to the pantry? Well, I was at a gig that night, so I was playing down at the Sugar Ducks, men's club. Harold, my boss, hasn't paid me for a few months, so I've had to start making money elsewhere. I remember I got home around 10, 40, I think. I went straight into my music room. I had a song in my head I just had to get out. <clears throat> so nothing to do with Charlotte May. Uh, nothing to do with her? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Nothing to do with Charlotte May, you say? Nothing at all. I wonder why Tony Morgan would want me to come and talk to you. I have no idea. I've never had a problem with the man. Maybe he saw something that made him suspicious. Like what? Hmm. Does his house look onto yours? I have a good view of your home from mine. Well, perhaps not a good view, but I can see into your kitchen and your uh, pantry. Are you spying on us, Mr. Conway? Very good, Mr. Mickey. No, I'm just wondering what on earth Tony Morgan might have seen to make him so suspicious. Did he say he'd seen something? No. Well, then, I suppose that's that. Well, thank you for humoring me. I'm sorry my mind does tend to wonder. It's fine, Mr. Conway. Where were we? Ah, yes. Uh, you were saying you'd entered your music room. Anyway, I think I was in my music room all the way up until... I'll be with you both in a second. Don't wait for me. Okay, my love. Um, I was in my room until Anne called me out. She heard a smash or something. Anne was visiting a friend that night, but I think she was back just before me. And I think she was in her bedroom. So by all accounts, she's the one who heard it. What was the name of her friend, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I don't remember. She's out with them quite a lot, though. Why doesn't she attend your performances? I don't think jazz is her thing. Well, that's a shame. That every time you perform, she's elsewhere. I see. You're wondering if she could have taken Charlotte May whilst I was gigging? Or having sex with somebody. No <laughs> way. The thought had crossed my mind, but... If you say no, then I have to take you at your word. You don't know Anne, Mr. Conway. There's no way she would do something like taking a child. I believe you, Mr. McKee. Good. I know you're asking for Tony Morgan, but you are way off. I apologize. And Annabelle seems so lovely, so I hate to have asked. It's okay. Sorry, where were you? So, anyway, it couldn't have been Anne or me, you see, because we weren't here most of the night. And in any case, the sugar ducks are a good 20-minute walk away. People would have noticed if I was missing from my gig, wouldn't you think? I I'm sorry, I I'm confused. Is this all you want to know? What I was doing that night? Nothing else? What else would I want to know? What else do you think I might want to know? I, uh, I'm not sure. This just isn't what I'd expected. I thought that... Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you were saying... What were you expecting? Well, what is it that's confusing you? Is everything okay? Yes. I'm fine. I, we've not been ourselves since Charlotte May was taken. I'm sure you can understand. I wouldn't be here now if all was right in the world. Well, all is right here, Mr. Conway. Good to know. Please continue. Sorry about that. I was making sure that things were, uh... What? Where we left them. I was just saying that Mr. Conway is wasting his time because we were both out of town for most of the night. Isn't that right, my love? Out of town? Um... You were at a friend's, weren't you? You already paid for a tram ticket. 
that's why you couldn't come to the gig? Well, actually, Theo, I wanted to talk to you about that, but it can wait till talk later. Talk to me about what? Tell him you're out of town. Don't you have to get back to work? Actually, I think I do have to go, Mr. Conway. I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. You'll excuse me. Thank you for your time, Theodore. You cheating slore. I wonder if what you're telling Theodore has an ounce of truth. You were at a friend's, were you? Mr. Conway, I think you've more than outstayed your welcome. I don't know why I agreed to talk to you in the first place. You must think me awfully dense if you think I don't know what you were doing while I was gone. I don't want to see or hear from you again. Do you understand? This is a job for the police, not some old has-been playing detective. Did Charlotte May outstay her welcome? Is that why you killed her? Oh, is boy. that why your pantry is bleached head to toe after I saw you bloodied last night? Get out. Now. I was trying to lock the door, guys. The controls are hard. I think that went as well as could have been expected. I feel like it could have gone better, but okay. Gosh, and I've been recording for over an hour. We're gonna have to stop this. From talking to the McKees, it seems apparent that they were both in Dilly View at the time Charlotte May was taken. Annabelle and Theo were clearly hiding something. I observed them getting rid of a rolled up rug and saw Theo use a mallet for God only knows what. I can't currently prove it relates to Charlotte May. And a few questions still remain. Let's finish this up, and then I'll end the video for today. So, can I prove the mallet was used to hit something living? What could motivate Theo to kidnap and sell a girl? Forty-five pounds is a large sum. In my experience, the kind of money made on the black market. Theo doesn't seem like someone driven by greed. So what possible motive could compel him to kidnap and sell a young girl? I'm positive that Charlotte May was in that pantry. But can I prove the mallet was used to hit something living? Well, let's look at our evidence. We have the bleach. We have burnt up letter. More bleach. Transfer to question board to connect a question. This is the mallet I saw Theo holding in the pantry. The keys were hiding in the footlocker at the base of their bed. Transfer. I don't I don't know if that's what I should be doing or not. I can get rid of it. Child abduction river port. Hmm. The Riverport Weekly newspaper delivered the morning after the attack. A second bottle of bleach. Bottle of bleach. Let's ch transfer this one. Can I do that? Can I transfer this or not? Nope. Okay, so maybe this mallet is supposed to go over here. <laughs> Transfer that one.
So I'm supposed to like choose a spot that it goes on. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know. Um, what was this letter? Theo was keeping a letter from his family in an instrument case. It must be important to him. Look at it. We got mother needs that medicine. You taught me well, big brother. By the way, how's my English? You taught me well. I don't know what that says because I can't read that. Latrice. Mom needs the medicine. Maybe that's why he's got that. Uh, he's hiding the money. What's this? Theo played a gig at the Sugar Docks. Theo uncertain when he arrived home. First 10, then 10.40 after the gig. Theo not paid in months. Had to make money elsewhere. Went straight to his music room. Theo had no idea Annabelle was home. To make money elsewhere. What was this one? Both arrived home before the attack. Annabelle heard the smash first. Annabelle back before Theo says she was in her room. Didn't attend Theo's gig. Annabelle says she was with a friend. Turned out to be a lie. And didn't hear Theo arrive. Oh, and this is the medicine. Which probably goes with this... But I have to choose what it goes with? Oh my god. Uh, what was that medicine that I found in the house? Benterol? Benistrol? It wasn't any of these, was it? Spray. Benterol. Maybe this was it? One, two... Three, one, 45 pounds. There must be a detail I'm missing on some of the evidence. Damn it. Um, but also, what could go here? So this is the mallet. Let's try this. This had a, uh... The thing inside of it. What does it say? I can't read from here! Ah, zoom. This product is for domestic use only. Use it. Use with other chemicals can result in toxic fumes. Use on cotton, it will result in bleach staining. Contact with blood or other bodily fluids may result in salty deposits. Wear protective gloves. I don't know. I need to make sure I'm looking at all of the evidence. I'm looking at the evidence! Oh. This product is used for domestic use only. Keep away from small children. Wear protective gloves. Although lemon scented, this product is not for consumption. There must be some small detail here. Missing. Missing a small detail. I think this is right, though. Had to make money elsewhere. This is the one that cost 45 pounds. Maybe it's not this one? I should read every detail on the evidence. I'm reading it! I don't know, guys. Oh, there's an option for a hint. I'm sure that some of this evidence is irrelevant. Is it? I could remove them. Yeah, yeah, remove it, because I don't know. Yeah, everything left on the board is relevant. Okay, so... That's what I thought. This is literally everything that I chose, and now everything else is gone. Okay, so I chose all the correct ones. I'm just not pinning it on the correct spot. So... There must be some small detail I'm missing on some of the evidence. Can I prove the mallet was used to hit something living? So let's look here. Let's pin that. Good. Okay. Now to sort out everything else. All right, so... At least with that hint, I know that I actually was choosing the I right options. Every piece of evidence. Um, I really think it's this one, though. What is this one? Not paid in months. 
Theo arrived home first, went straight to his music room, played a gig. I need to look at every single detail there is. Maybe I'm just getting the medication wrong? I might have to go through all this medicine and choose one, because I... Maybe I'm just messing it up. So let me try this money elsewhere option, and then I'm just going to go through <laughs> all of these. What would have been the second one I would have chose, other than this one? Uh, one, two, two, five. One, two, two, five. I need to look at no. every single detail there is. Alrighty, we're just gonna go and choose them all. <laughs> I need to look at every piece of evidence. Because <laughs> I do not 45 know. Pounds. I need to make sure I'm scouring all of the evidence. I'm scouring. There we go. I was not gonna figure That's that out. It. The mallet must have been used to hit something living. The crystallization proves it. Then they carried it down to the boot of a car. The only possible motive I can see is that Theo needed money to pay for his mother's medication. A life for a life. Could Theo really be that cold? I got the impression that Annabelle was in charge. It's not enough. I can't accuse them without something solid. I'll have to keep an eye on the McKees and continue my- Hi, Dad. Dad? Uh-oh. Don't come in here. I think we need a little chat about your neighbors. The McKees? Damn. I can't let her see this after I made a promise. Don't come in. And why is this door closed? I'm naked. Dad, are you back there? Perhaps I should just come out with it. I don't know. Hello? No, it's his daughter. I'm afraid not. He, he must be out. I don't. I'm, I'm sorry, but... Right. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but... Good day to you, too. Who was it? I can't stop now. Not after what I've seen. I'll just have to make sure I find something that Catherine can use in her investigation. It's the only way she'll understand. I've spent the morning watching the McKees, waiting for them. Alright guys, we are going to stop it here. Sorry for the long one. I did not realize this was going to be such a long video. I thought I was going to be able to make these like 30 minutes each. Um, but it's just obviously not possible because I don't want to stop it in the middle of something crazy happening. So um, I don't know how long all of these videos are going to be, but we're doing it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>